hello guys welcome back to my after effects tutorial channel this is randy from Ranch graphics and without any further ado let's right away start We will start by creating a new composition and I will name it Parallax to 1. 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second and 7 seconds duration. Click OK. I will open my assets folder, open this image and drop down this image into my timeline. I will press S on my keyboard for the scale and I will scale it down. Then right away, I will pre-compose this one. Right click my mouse and pre-compose it. Move all the attributes into the new composition and I will name it placeholder 1. Move all the attributes into the new composition and I will click OK. Then go to composition, create a new composition and I will name it media 1. 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second and 7 seconds duration, click OK. Drop down this parallax to the timeline and also the guy that I made, I will drop it down into my timeline. Toggle switches here, enable the 3D layer. I will go to layer, create a new camera. I am using 2 node 35mm camera, click OK. I will drag it up on top and I will go back to layer, create a new null object. I will make this null object a 3D layer and parent the camera to the null object. Right click my mouse and rename it camera control. Then I will open the camera options. I will turn on the depth of field so that it will help me to have a depth on my image. I will press P on my keyboard for the position. I will change this to 300. Then I will go to my shape tool, double click this ellipse tool to create a mask and I will highlight this parallax, press S on my keyboard and I will scale it up. I will press M on my keyboard to see the mask and then I light it and double click this mask to scale it according to the guide. You should not be really perfect in here but at least almost perfect to minimize the distortion of our image then make the mask subtract then duplicate the parallax composition by pressing ctrl d on your keyboard highlight the parallax below press p on your keyboard for the position and i will change this to 600 i will just jump 300 every duplication of the compositions we have here then press s for the scale scale it up again I will highlight the parallax, press M to see the mask and highlight the mask and then again I will double click this mask to scale it down according to our guide. I will highlight this composition again, press Ctrl D to duplicate it and i will highlight the composition below press p on my keyboard change the z position 
about 900 press s on my keyboard for the scale and i will scale it up then i will highlight it and press m on my keyboard to see the mask and highlight the mask i will again double click my mouse to scale it according to the guide So you will do all the duplicated compositions to about probably 9 of it. I will just speed it up guys because I don't want you to wait okay. So now we are done making our mask and rescale it according to our guide. So all I have to do is to disable the visibility of our guide and I will highlight this parallax one at the bottom and duplicate it. Press P on my keyboard for the position. I will change the position here on the Z axis 3300. Press M on my keyboard to see the mask and I will delete the mask. I will again highlight this and duplicate it by pressing my keyboard Ctrl D and I will go to effects and preset. Go to noise and grain. I will add turbulent noise. I will change the fractal type to subscale and the noise type I will change this to black. Then the contrast I will change this to 300. Brightness negative 100. I will open the sub settings here. Change the subscaling here to 650. I will press my keyboard Alt and hold it. Click the stopwatch on the evolution to create an expression. And I will type time times 300. Press P on my keyboard for the position. I will change the Z position to 800. I will toggle switches in here to change the blending mode to screen. I will go back highlight this parallax one below and press S on my keyboard for the scale. I will just scale it up. I will highlight this come control press P on my keyboard for position. Create a keyframe on the start here and go my playhead to about 5 seconds. Probably I will change the Z position 2500. Then I will go my playhead to about 6 seconds and 15 frames. Change the value on the X position, something like this. Then I will highlight all these keyframes. Press F9 to easy it. I will go back to my project panel and I will open the footage. I will drop down this pre-rendered scene into my timeline. I will right click my mouse, go to transform and I will change this to fit to comp. Then I will right click my mouse and pre-compose it. Move all the attributes into the new composition, click OK. I will change the blending mode here to screen. Then I will also highlight this parallax one here. Press T on my keyboard for the opacity. I will change the opacity here to 30%. And then close it. I will go back to my project panel and drop down this light leak into my timeline. I will right click my mouse. Go to transform. Again I will fit the comp. 
right click my mouse pre-compose it move all the attributes into the new composition click ok i will change the blending mode here to screen and also the particles i will drop it down to the timeline right click my mouse go to transform with the comp again right click my mouse pre-compose it move all the attributes into the new composition click ok then i will change the blending mode here to screen and press T on my keyboard for opacity I will change the opacity to about 50% let's try to play it I think I have to change the opacity on the light leak too so press on your keyboard T for the opacity and I will change this to 30% I think that should be good enough play it again yeah I think this one is better now go to composition create a new composition and i will name it text the width is okay the height i will just change this to 500 and click ok i will grab the text tool and type labyrinth parallax we are using the font called the wolfy script regular at 120 pixels and i will align it at the center and again grab the text tool and type slideshow and this time I'm gonna be changing the font here to TW empty condense I'll just use the regular then I will change the font size here to about 60 then I will again align horizontally center make the distance in between letters 200 i will just drag it up a bit and highlight this labyrinth parallax and drop it down i will go to my project panel and right click my mouse to change the name of the text i will just add animation and then i will highlight these two text press t on my keyboard for the opacity move my play it about 10 frames and change the opacity to zero hit the stopwatch here to create a keyframe move my play to about one second and 15 frames and make this opacity 100 percent highlight the keyframes on the slideshow and i will just move my play to about one second and i will just offset it by moving this keyframe on that duration so what you can see here if you will scrub our playhead the labyrinth parallax will appear first before the slideshow so all i have to do is to open the media one and i will drop down this text animation into my timeline i will move forward my plate to see the text press p or my keyboard for position i will toggle switches modes in here to enable the 3d layer and also the three compositions just below it enable the 3d layers I will press P on my keyboard for the position of the text animation drag it up a bit then I will go to effects and preset I will go to generate fill I will change the color here open the libraries choose this color duplicate this text animation drag it down below the original text animation we have go to effects and preset go to blur and sharpen CC radial blur I want to change the type of the CC radial blur to fading zoom then increase the amount then change the color here to black maybe grayish I think that should be good enough when we preview it
we can also add a drop shadow in it so highlight this text animation on top go to effects and preset perspective just add a drop shadow make the opacity probably 75 percent the distance probably six and the softness two so now we can see a little bit of a drop shadow here so we're good to go i will open the project asset again i will right click my mouse and rename it just add one on it then i will create a folder here i will name it scene one I highlight all these compositions drag it into my scene one folder go to composition create a new composition and i will name it scene underscore zero one then i will change the height here to 2160 30 frames per second and 7 seconds duration click ok I will go to my scene 1 folder and drop down this media into the timeline make this a 3d layer go to layer create another new camera I just want to make sure that there will be no bleeding in here Then I will just highlight this camera and press P for the position. I will just increase the change the Z position to make it closer to the canvas. I think that should be good enough. I will preview it. Yep, this is what I want. So now I will go back to my project panel and I will close this scene 1 folder, highlight this scene 1 and drag it to my scene 1 folder. Then I will create a new folder and I will name it scene 2. I will highlight these compositions, then I will duplicate it. Then I will drag the duplicated compositions to the scene 2 folder, then close the scene 1. Double click my mouse to open these compositions. Open placeholder 2, delete this image. Open my assets folder and drop down this second image to the timeline. Press S on your keyboard for the scale, scale it down. Then go to your text animation 2, move forward your play it so you can see the text. I will change this labyrinth parallax to ranch graphics. same font that we are using and i will also highlight this slideshow change the text here to presents then open the parallax to press on your keyboard alt and hold it and replace this placeholder 1 to placeholder 2 and open the media 2 highlight all these parallax 1 compositions change it to parallax 2 and highlight this composition, replace it with the pre-rendered 2 light leak, change it to 2 change the particles into 2 the text animation, change it to text animation 2 then open the camera control, press P on your keyboard for the position and move forward your play at the end of your keyframe and move the X position on the right side so you can choose whatever direction you want, okay? Then go to composition and create a new composition. I will name it main. 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second. And the duration, I will change this to 15 seconds. And click OK. I will open the scene 1. I will highlight this scene 1 and drop it down to the timeline. Open the scene 2. I will highlight this scene 2 composition and drop it down to the timeline just above the scene 1. And then move my play to about 6 seconds. Press open bracket key to move the scene 2 layer. So let's preview it again.
the image is not changing in here so all i have to do is to go back to my scene 2 and replace this media 1 press alt and hold it replace media 1 to media 2 if we will go back to our main again you will see that the image here has changed and let's preview it again nice So now guys our tutorial has been done and I hope guys that you learned from it and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment or even share it to your friends and press the notification bell so that you will not be able to miss if I have videos to upload for the coming days. So my thoughts for the day guys is that never miss the opportunity to learn. Okay guys thank you for watching and see you on my next tutorial. God bless.